Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul Eastex Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I'm joined on mic by Tyler. Hello. Hey, Shitsu. And we are going to play Coffee Crisis, which has an annoying Unity startup screen instead of a game-specific startup screen. And wow, it's a little loud. Let me turn my headset down. Coffee crisis. So what's so bad about coffee, Tyler? Um, it's warm caffeine, so... You don't like caffeine? Not warm caffeine, only cold caffeine. Oh. It's like a weird warm and cold. The longest time I've been allowed to drink caffeine. But, and every Mormon drank soda, so they're like, oh no! Cold caffeine is fine. It's only warm caffeine you're not allowed to drink. I see, I see. Well, Coffee Crisis comes from Mega Cat Studios. It is, I believe, exclusive to Xbox One and Steam. Is it on PlayStation? I don't think I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's a $10 game, a beat em up of some sort. It has two player co op. Mega Cat Studios. Let's try it out. You're playing with modifiers. Modifiers make, I'm sorry guys, my son is being obnoxious. Make the game kind of hard. Randomly apply to the game at each finish them zone. Okay, this is a little complicated. These modifiers can either help or harm you depending on which ones are applied. You will have to discover the usage of each individual mod yourself. Good luck, the universe is counting on you. This, like, super tiny text box is kind of unnecessary. It makes it harder to read than it should be. It's like, instead of two lines, it should be four lines. That's my official word. The Ginzer, not so long ago in a galaxy kind of close to us. The evil Smurglian race has taken notice of Earth's worldwide web and has begun stealing Wi-Fi. They have created their own version of the Internet and hid it deep within the Earth's deep web. Called the Smyrnet. I don't know about all this. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Ashley, nice day, eh? Yep. She must be Canadian. Then there's an alien named Roy. Nick says, <gasps> Where are your manners? Where is your metal? Okay, this is really weird writing. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Hey, Thomas. Nice to hear you. Hey, having some rather odd communication issues with uh, this one for some reason. Silly. I've had okay. cut, cutting out issues, but never really connection issues. What was that? Uh, it looked like it was connecting. It was duplicating it to be a connection, though. Weird. Huh. Achievement. Yeah, just, Password for new level. Two Bama. Yeah. That level was 20 seconds long. <laughs> and the game's over. No, not really. <laughs> That'd be funny. The alien has a Pokeball in his chest. Don't make me destroy you. What the F was that? This is very random. Aliens! Bob. <laughs> Something like that. What do they want with skinny chest knee? We should probably find out. Closed. To save the world. So it's called Coffee Crisis because the characters are coffee shop workers. How are we going to beat them? I've been saving this for just the occasion. The one is attacking with like a bag of beans. Yeah. It's strange. The sixth demon blend. Sensational. Shouldn't it be sensational? What beans are in it? Darkness, fire, all that kind of thing. Those aren't beans. You two remember your barista training, right? That needs a comma. You can grab and throw smaller enemies with the pickup button, which is Y. And hold the attack button, X, for charged hits. Strong attacks against enemies will fling them. If you fling them against walls, you can defeat them pretty easily. That sounds a whole lot of talking. <laughs> that annoying two-line text box. There's also a special button B. Special attacks are very strong, but reduce your health. Here they come. Hit them, you jagoffs. 
I don't know what that word means. You yeah, jack offs. Does it really say that? It does. Excuse me, Russell. I believe I requested the hand job. <laughs> he used that on Facebook the other day. I don't think he knew about it. Yes. Yeah. Old maybe obscure references don't land very often. It's a wonderful movie. Alright, so I've got a baseball bat. Can I hit this eye on the floor with it? Like, do it. it. This is fun. I don't know. Ah, look, the game got all trippy. Why is it all trippy like that? Ah, the, is the old lady hitting me? Yep, the old ladies are bad guys. This is just like Captain Marvel. <laughs> she should smile more, says someone who will never make it a woman in his life. Ow, my bat wore off. Proceed. Well, at least this is a real level, like it's longer and stuff. What do you think of the art, Tyler? Um, it's not bad. I like the aliens. I would say it's like just a smidge below average for pixel yeah, art. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot. Yeah, I've seen a lot worse pixel art than this. Yeah, but we also do live in a time where there's a lot of good pixel art out there. Right. Okay, finish them. They got red eyes and stuff. Are they inhabited by aliens or controlled by aliens? Caffeinated heroes. This is basically a game of Captain Marvel. Except that you're not Captain Marvel, you're like really stuff. Who's that guy? What's he doing? Hit him for loot. Looks that way, Cap yeah. Cappuccino. <laughs> Captain Cappuccino, that's what they should call him. Good goblin, yeah. I would say that it, just... it does look kind of like an American developed Super Nintendo game. That's a fair comparison. I never said that. Sorry, Thomas, what were you saying? I was going to say, I, I just uh, went and saw Godzilla today. That's just surprisingly right. good. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. I'm probably going to go see it tomorrow. We were supposed to see it today, but I was too sleepy after work, so I took a nap instead. I mean, to go to work crazy early and then work a physically strenuous job is tough. Good way to charge up move. Ow. But it's also a good way to get hit. That's why I love the fact that these days, listen, what I do is just sit down in a chair and stare at my computer screen. <laughs> and tell other people what they do. That's not so bad. Ethan, don't be talking off to the side of me. You unlocked achievements? Yeah, I've gotten three achievements so far, I think. Nice. Right. Sorry, nice does this have, have local co-op? Yes, it does have two-player local co-op. I. It says, they see you, and the T is drawn really strangely, because that's really an I, not a T. <laughs> yeah, no, the... it just says, I, hey, see you. <laughs> Maybe that was the idea, because there's all those eyes on the ground, and the aliens have big eyes. That's right. There's... Who's that, a guitar? It's a guitar an umbrella or something? I don't even know. Ah! Huh. Is that a boss? Looks like a guitar. Another achievement. Oh, the achievements are popping up in the corner. Don't they usually pop up in the middle of the screen? Yeah, they're normally centered, but developers can choose where they appear. Oh, okay. And I wish more developers would do it, because sometimes they cover up important information on the screen. Right. Ah! How am I supposed to... Ah! I mean, this is actually... Like, they're just... They're hitting me a lot. I can push start to continue. When's the last time you played a beat em up, Tyler? It's been a while. Um... I don't know. It's never been my favorite genre. I don't have a lot of nostalgic memories for the arcade beat em ups or anything. I never played them that often, so. What are you just saying that you don't have a lot of friends? That's very sad, Tyler. <laughs> That's true, too. Yeah. I was a lonely child. So you didn't get to enjoy uh, TNT uh, Arcade Edition? Uh, I played it a couple times, but that's it. Oh, well, at least you got to play it. Yeah, did, I mean, did you ever play games in the arcade as a kid, though? Um, mostly I would play the games that gave you tickets so I could win prizes. 
Ah, uh, that was not the fun way to play the arcade. <laughs> Redemption games, yeah. It's like, that's a little bit like throwing your money away compared to having fun with video games. Ah! Lord, does I wasted a lot of money back then. Look at this mini game. Uh, hey, if Tyler likes Redemption games, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe yeah, we'll bring well, I that mean, party arcade game to PlayStation eventually. Hey. I mean, the, uh, yeah, that yeah. fantastic game. Um, well, a I lot mean, of the old video games video were just, like, that. such quarter suckers, like, there's no point in playing them because, you know, it costs you a dollar to get past each boss. Well, you just go into it expecting to spend, like, five bucks to make your way through the game. Yeah, for five bucks I could, like, win a, a mustache comb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you definitely need one of those. Yep. Oh, uh, we're in... Who's Kenny Chesney? Is that the guy that Skinny Chesney is supposed to be? I think that's the guy. Uh, I think he's yeah. a country singer. Yeah. Why are you at a, at, a, at a skinny Chesney concert? Yeah, it seems to be. And they're asking, they are asking us for tickets. We're trying to save this guy, and they're. I say I would never buy tickets to a skinny Chesney concert. I'm offended by that question. No tickets, no entry. Let's trash these nerds. Let's do that. So I just want to remind everybody that this is Neo Geo June, in which I am streaming a different. Neo Geo game almost every day of the week, so I took one day off to sleep, but otherwise we had a ton of streams earlier this week. The heck is rumbling. Um, it's making the other controller that isn't even being used vibrate. That's really dumb. Ah. That's a, yeah, and it's a wired controller that's plugged into the back of the system. So it can't really but yeah, it should not be doing that. It's strange. Ah. Proceed. Don't mind if I do. Straight out of the park. Defeat bouncers in stage three. Man, this is going to be a short, easy achievement game or something. <laughs> I mean, seemingly, if I don't have to do anything special, it's certainly handing them out for short little stages. Like, it gave me an achievement for beating the bad guys and an achievement for beating the level. And it's like, you can't yeah. beat the level without beating the bad guys. It's silly. There's an alien in a wheelchair. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. So anyway, I just want to remind you guys. Oh if you yeah, can, my please. Mute, my mute button doesn't work. That's right. We figured that out last time. <laughs> okay. I apologize, guys. You and your ghetto headset. I know. Well, something weird happened to it. That'd be cool if I could, Icky. So what was my point? Oh yeah. So when I'm doing these midweek streams, which I haven't done for a real long time, you know, and I'm trying to get back into it, but I would love if you guys could support me because like I need more people to tune in if I'm going to do stuff like this after June. So show your support by tuning in, won't you guys? Not to name any names. Yeah, Jono, he's talking about you. Jono actually showed up to one, Tyler, so he's beating you. Nice. I'm actually busy working. <laughs> oh. but, you know, you can I always join and not act. chat. Like, you don't have to talk. I know, I'd like to get free time today, I did it all my phone calls. Oh, dang. Ah. Yeah. My boss was, uh, actually called me worried. I'm like, dude, I just stepped out of the movie theaters. It's my day off. It's okay if I don't pick up the phone. Oh, I threw it back at the first time I've done that. I'm trying to pick up this pile of arms or whatever it is, but they keep hitting me when I try to get it. There we go. I picked up an arm and it shoots lasers. And there's an achievement. Payback. Use a gray alien arm weapon. I like that. At least this game has some sense of humor to it, even if the yeah. writing is not particularly good. And the music is pretty good, though. I would say it's maybe the best feature of the game, besides the achievements. Grab the old lady and throw her. That's how you do it. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, three way weapon here. This guitar it shoots three projectiles. That's cool. Guitars are cool. They certainly are. Ah! Oh, stop hitting me. Oh, and you got a punk alien. They just kind of <laughs> like... They're, they're pixel art designers. They're just like, ah, make whatever you want that looks cool. <laughs> Here's some like... Cowboy, female cowboys with red eyes. Here's an alien in a wheelchair. Here's a, <laughs> a Rastafarian alien. Yeah, it's very random. Yeah, there's no like, random reason to it, but it's kind of, yeah, exactly. 
Alien Annihilator. Defeat 25 aliens. Don't mind if I do. The music kind of reminds me of Charlie Murder. Charlie Murder had some hard Oh yeah, Charlie music. Murder. I never played that. I got banned from Xbox before I got a chance to buy it and play it. That's sad. Did they never release it on PlayStation? Uh-uh. That's got No, they never released there. any of their games on PlayStation except for the Salt and Sanctuary one, the newer one. Isn't it weird? I mean, like, they could work with somebody to get their games ported if they wanted. You'd they think. Just... I mean, because the, the dishwasher games are cool. Yeah, they're not bad. What? Wasn't that a, uh, an exclusive though? I mean, initially, but exclusives usually are only exclusive for a certain number of years or months. Well, for indie, sometimes the gate their licenses gets locked up. Yeah, it, I mean, it might actually be Microsoft published, but still, I mean, they could. Charlie Murder did come to Steam for sure. Yeah, so did the Sink Salt and Sanctuary games, I think, or the the dishwasher games. Yeah, and I'm, I'm surprised Salt and Sanctuary did that ever come to Xbox. It might not. Have. I thought so. Maybe. You know, um, studio is a husband and wife team. Yeah, they're really cool. They're nice. Um, so no, I might like because I actually use Microsoft as an email too. So my email wasn't banned, and my Windows 10, well at the time it was seven, that wasn't banned or anything like that. It was only banned from the Xbox infrastructure thing. Get the aliens, Tyler. Nice. So what were you doing that got you banned from Xbox? Oh boy. Or you're not allowed I was, to say. I was taking advantage of some deals that were completely on Xbox's fault <laughs> for making them available. And yeah. He went to the country of Oman and he uh, grabbed a lot of things that were paying for him. Some, for whatever reason, there was this, there was this spurt where digital games were showing up as free in other regions. Um, yeah. And so all you had to do is create like a alternate region account and then log into your Xbox and download or buy the game. Um, and so yeah, I got banned for doing that. You know, like maybe 10,000 people did it and like maybe 200 got banned based on yeah, which is know, so every, everyone on CAG doing it. But They made an example of our beloved Tyler. Yep. Quite needlessly. Ah! Was the last time Tyler ever played Crackdown? Ah. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, Simeus. Simeus, good to see you. I mean, now the Xbox basically encourages you to make alternate accounts or change regions and download free games. So, yeah, it's totally fair that they got me on that. You were just ahead of your time, Tyler. I know, I guess I was. This was back when Microsoft was huge dickholes because they had like the, the majority of sales of consoles. They were the market leader. Well, since this was Sony's turn, you know, next turn, you know who it's going to be, right? Uh, Sega. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, got to keep my coffee in the green by drinking all these coffee cups at the right pace. Uh, Nintendo's already a huge uh, dickhole. Yeah. They have that phone where you can only call random people that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's more of Nintendo doesn't understand how the internet works, despite the fact that they work in the technology sector. Yeah, it's really yeah, the, yeah. Despite the fact that yeah, Japan just barely right. got the internet though, like a couple years ago. Are you kidding me? Japan has uh, the best internet <laughs> in the world right now, both Wi-Fi and wired. What the heck? Oh, he's getting probed by the aliens. I think you're on mute, Paul. <laughs> yep. Am I no longer muted? I can yep. hear you now. That guy's wearing a Star Wars shirt with like a G.I. Joe striped background behind it for some reason. Ah, you're muted again. <laughs> Wait, I'm muted or I'm not muted? No, you're not. You're back to being not muted. Well, quick, don't call me muted when I'm not muted. 
Hey, yeah, how the heck did he? There's no way that he should be wearing a Star Wars shirt in this game. <laughs> Are those the guys from Metapocalypse? Um, they kind of look that way. I mean, they're yeah. not. I don't know. Maybe that's what they're going for. The story is very strange. Since the last guy looked like uh, James Hunt, Bob. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they're stealing ideas. <laughs> Tar Ors, not Star Wars. Yeah. It seems he's got a point. Hey, look, that guy's got an NES Zapper. Yes, he does. Knowledge is animal, but it won't be enough to save you. Oh, his name is Metal Jesus Rocks. Or this miserable planet. Traitor, don't turn your back on Earth. Why do the aliens want old games? Exactly something a human would say. The smart aliens understand their value. I will do what other humans don't. See, that's like Genesis does with Nintendo. It's a little reference there. No, the yeah, smart aliens are just... They got a lot of random references going on. <laughs> yeah, can't fault them for that. Sort of made for yeah. our general age group, seems like. Yeah. These boxes. Man, I don't like how many projectiles they all fire. It's, like, some of them are just. It's just that guy right there, actually. So maybe I can go stop it. I'm gonna try just using my special move over and over to see if there's any chance for special move kills. Turn that vibration. Where's my character? Game over? Wow, was there actually a finite number of continues? <laughs> MJRKS. Dang it, I didn't Fine. know that. I was expecting. I mean, like, yeah, I wasn't. Both pronunciations are acceptable. Type. Well, you got a password. I've never heard someone say finite. MJRNS, is that what it was? I think so. But have you ever heard someone say infinite? Yeah. There you go. Because that's how it's pronounced. So it's not I'm finite? M J R N S. Um, uh oh. M J R N it? Crap. Yeah, that one just took me to nowhere, didn't it? Can you uh, rewind, rewind streams on Twitch? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why? So we can see what the password was. Oh, I think you only do that after it's. Uh... Somebody tell us what the password was. Why didn't I take a screenshot? I think it was N S R N S. Alright. Maybe it was a five. Let's see, it doesn't say whether it accepts or doesn't accept the password. Guys, we have 20 of you watching the stream. Will no one tell us what the password <laughs> was? No one. Uh, I thought he knew it, so I wasn't paying attention, honestly. I... I also just assumed that it would... I don't know what I assumed. Like, why, yeah, why would they give you a password and, you know, like, just let you keep playing? Because <laughs> uh, they think it's 1980. Apparently so. Stop the stream, restart it, and then we'll be able to watch the video on the band. Oh, there's an infinite lives cheat. I should have used that. Oh, but they disabled the cheat that's one. MJRKS. How about that? Sounds right. Hey, oh, Bob Jones says. Bob Jones says you can do a clip of it. A little late, Bob Jones. A little late. Oh, did you get it? I looked up a website. Oh. And there was an achievement: extra cheese for using the password. Activate a level password. Curious. I'm still very confused on why we were at Skinny Chesney concert. Did you notice the red eyes? Yeah, cheap contacts. Probably thought it made them look cool. Is that a coffee grinder she's holding? Uh, Either that or a blender. Yeah, maybe it is a blender. Uh, blender craft, I can't tell. How can you even tell? 
screen is way too busy. Which enemies spawn is kind of random because this is a different group of enemies. Yeah, what the heck? Ah. I haven't seen those big dudes. Oh, you know what? It may have changed the difficulty from easy. It may not have remembered my difficulty setting or something. Oh, that'll make it's like it harder. Yeah, there's a weird neon space invader in me, too. Got him, finally. Coffee. Yay! We beat the hard level. Level clear. Give me my achievement, dang it. 3k EPE for your next level. But I have a list of the passwords, so I don't actually have to write them down anymore. Keep my caffeine in the green. Hey, tech guy. Good to see you, dude. Um, oh, wait, I'm the girl. I'm not the guy. It changed which side I'm on in this, because I'm not playing as the same character. Whoops. Chugging it and at. Well, this is a game in which you are baristas and there's a lot of coffee in it. Oh yay, the guy is no longer controlled by aliens. That's good. There's yeah. the same metal... metal... Jesus Rocks. Yeah. yeah. Like metal Apocalypse Metal Jesus Rocks. Kind of, kind of similar. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. similar. Uh, yeah, Tech, I'm pretty sure nobody knows what this game's about. <laughs> it's about easy achievements. Yeah, pretty much. Gross. I agree. I like regular root beer. Except root beer red here doesn't have caffeine in it. Yeah, that is true. Do they make like caffeinated root beer? You'd think somebody would offer it. They do. So Barks does. Barks root beer has bite or whatever, but the Barks around here doesn't have caffeine in it. Interesting. Because Mormon, like from what I talked about earlier, Mormons didn't used to drink caffeine. Uh, the only root beer worth having is a root beer float. I Those like are really good. Yeah. Aren't Mormons now allowed to have up to one milligram of caffeine? Per day? Or is it per year? Do they have to go to the temple after a certain number of milligrams? Oh, he's playing country music! That was funny, his attack made the music change. Do you hear that? It's great. Audience. Yeah, I know you can. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nikki says the music sounds like the grinding of coffee. That's an interesting comparison. Kick his butt. Give me those achievements, dang it. I want them all. I should have looked at the list before I played. <laughs> hey, Nikki so, says you grind some coffee on, on the stream. <laughs> Wouldn't that be perfect? So guys, I, I saw a movie this week, I mentioned it in Discord, and I talked about it during one of my midweek streams, but I finally saw Brightburn like two weeks after it came out. Are you familiar with the premise, you guys? Something about X-Men. <laughs> it is nothing like the X-Men. It is actually like a dark horror movie version of Superman. Like, you know how Superman was found as a boy and raised by a couple of parents on a farm who couldn't have kids? Well, that's the that's the beginning of Brightburn. You know, it's about a similar kid raised that way. 
And then when he turns 12, he becomes a horrible serial killer. Why I don't know. version of uh, Superman. Basically, he realizes uh, he doesn't need to listen to anybody, so he decides to get rid. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, this kid. See, like I knew it was gonna be bad Superman, and okay, he's gonna kill some people, right? Like I knew that was gonna be in the movie. But like I assumed, for instance, wouldn't you think that it, like he would maybe lash out at people who had bullied him and things like that? Like that he'd be like basically killing bad people who sort of had it coming. Well, you could like, see that as a start, but uh, if you'd go for the whole power corrupts concept, it, it would just quickly degenerate into him just beating up anything that got in his way, just because it's there. Well, what I'm here to tell you is, he's not just like a violent bully himself, but like the people he kills, they're all like completely innocent, basically, and he doesn't just like beat them up, you know, he's like... He's basically a little serial killer, like, messing around with organs and things. It's really quite grotesque. And needlessly so, in my opinion. Ah. Uh, the director are probably trying to play up the horror angle. Yeah, I mean, they are. You know, like, I watch a lot of horror movies in which nobody's jaw gets maybe, like, torn off and they lay, lay there bleeding painfully, you know? And, uh, I mean, like, it is really gory and gross. So, and that's the, some people uh, really enjoy that, but I mean... And that's my big thing about a lot of horror movies is they rely on uh, war to, instead of uh, actual storytelling. <sighs> and yet, you know, I'm disappointed by the gore. I was put off by it, but... But it's a well-made movie. You know, like, the acting is good, and the special effects are almost all completely good. There's one part where he throws a lawnmower by mistake and it looks cheap, but like the rest of the movie I'd say is very well made. It's just really not for me, you know, like I already don't really like love the idea of a dark Superman type movie. But especially having to be a kid and making him be this deranged, sick serial killer who doesn't understand people or anything. Like, that did not make it you know, it's like there's no one to root for. None of the characters are particularly likable, but they're also not yeah. bad. They're just doing what anybody would do in their situation, you know, like the way they react to him and stuff. So anyway, I, I don't really recommend it, but if you think what I said sounds cool, then you'll probably like it. Because, you know, certain horror fans, they do want to see all that kind of stuff. Yeah, honestly, I would have preferred they uh, explore the whole hero of mythos more by basically putting a real person with superpowers in the, uh, into a story arc versus the yeah. whole he's evil for evil's sake. Yeah, here's a weird thing. Like, if people don't might mind me talking about the story too much, like, the movie kind of leaves it ambiguous whether he was always going to turn into a serial killer or if it's just because his ship started, like, sending, like, subliminal signals to him. Because the ship, you know, that he arrived in, it does that eventually. And from then on, like, he's definitely not good anymore. The question is, was he already into all that bad stuff anyway? Who knows? But, you know, like, there's an innocent girl that he stalks, and that, and then it's not pretty. And one lady that he kills, he, like, takes out all her organs and hangs her body up, and again, it's grotesque. Anyway, that's enough talking about that gross business. I did not expect to even like the movie. The only reason I saw it is because my friend Matt, a fellow teacher, wanted to go see it. My friend Matt, he does love gory horror movies, so I knew he was going to like it. But anyway, I'm a team player, you know, so if my friends want to go do something, I'll go do it, unless it's like drugs or something. Just you guys are winners, but you're the one who's leading the, the charge. We all know the <laughs> truth. Yeah, like, I, I wouldn't want to... For one thing, yeah, I wouldn't agree to do illegal things in case I get in trouble, but... So it's good to know it's not because you actually think it's wrong, just because you don't want to get in trouble. Well, it depends on the individual drug, you know? Like, I have... There's one drug that's still legal in many states that really shouldn't be. What, are you talking about caffeine? <laughs> Maybe not that one. No, Darker Player, I have not found a new teaching job yet, and that is a source of distress. Hey, thank you for the donation! Who is that, BX Latino? So 
Somebody confirmed who the donor was. That's BX Latino. Yay, thank you, BX Latino. I really appreciate that. You know, Twitch a while back announced that they were going to pay creators more frequently. And it's been three or four months, and I still haven't gotten any kind of payment. So I would love to know what's going on there. But, I mean, don't let that discourage you from donating, guys, because it just means we haven't hit some kind of threshold that they're waiting for. But the more donations, certainly the better. Uh, Jack wanted to know if there's any, like, nightlife-type stuff in the movie. That's a good question. There is something in the movie that causes him harm. Um, I don't mind telling... If no one considers it too much of a spoil, I don't mind telling you it has a bit of an unhappy ending. And, uh, and there's a, like, basically a beginning of the credits scene. There's not a mid credit scene, I don't think, but at the very beginning of the credits, there's an additional scene that kind of either, uh, teases sequels, or is just kind of, like, parodying the DC way of teasing sequels. The DC movies way, you know? And that... The end credit scene is actually... I mean, why do I say end credits? I mean the beginning of the end credits. But anyway, that credit scene is actually kind of interesting. And it's, it has a surprising cameo, actor-wise. So, Superman? <laughs> no, I mean, it's it's an actor, somebody who's been in Marvel, a couple of Marvel movies, who shows up and you're like, yay, it's him, you know, if you like him, which a lot of us do. But I don't want to say so he's supposed to be a surprise. What you're well, no, it's, it's not Henry Cavill, it's a Marvel actor. It's the Mark Ruffalo. Hulk versus <laughs> uh, Evil Superman. Well, I don't want to say who it down. is. No, it's... I'm just saying, yeah. Maybe you may want to watch just that one scene, which will surely be put on the internet once the movie comes out on video. Tech says it's Deadpool. <laughs> that would be really cool. No, I mean an actual Marvel Cinematic Universe actor. Don't run out of lives. Don't run out of lives. Oh, crap. 3G, 5BA. 3G, 5BA. Did I hear what about spawn? 3G, 5BA. Ah, swamp thing. They already canceled it. Oh, yeah. I'm not happy about that. It's actually pretty good. I've already watched the first two episodes. Nice. I haven't seen the show, but I love the character Swamp Thing, and I love the old Swamp Thing show in both movies. Uh, this is nothing like the old show. Uh, this is uh, deep, dark horror Swamp Thing. Well, you know, the old show was creepy for its time, but yeah, that, that does sound interesting. And it sounds pretty close to the comics in tone, even if they've changed some of the story stuff. Ah, the screen crack. That's an interesting effect. Yeah, I mean, it was supposed to be 13 episodes, but they were only able to shoot 10 before the plug got pulled. Oh, look, I picked yeah, up an item down to that 10. added, like, a CRT filter to the particular item I got. That's interesting. Party time, it's excellent. A lot better. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a cool effect. Oh, uh, now it's all wavy. Ah, these are the modifiers I was talking about. That's crazy looking. Somebody figured out how to do Nintendo's Mode 7 30 <laughs> years after it went away. Kind of like that. It would be cool if it just like flipped the screen upside down for a little bit. That would be fun too. As long as it doesn't do like most games and invert the controls when it does that. That always drives me crazy when it does it without warning. Oh yeah, that would be uncomfortable. Jesus Ninja, Copy Crisis is actually pretty fun. Like, the fighting, the combat is a little looser than I would like. You know, like, everything just runs at you and wails on you, and it's very chaotic. I would rather it was more structured, disciplined, I don't know, refined. But it is fun, and I bet two-player would be extremely fun. And you get to fight cowgirls with lassos, so that's certainly a plus. Darker player, do you want to look up what the achievements are? Because if there's anything I should be shooting for, I would love to know about it. Tyler, what's what's your friend's status? Um, you mean like, am I gonna have to leave or not? Yeah, I mean like, how close are they to arriving oh. or whatever? 
Or are you going to go gonna, I'm going to sign off in five minutes. Okay. That's fine. I'm glad you came, Tyler. We miss you. Yeah. I keep telling him, oh, he needs to practice more to aim, but... <laughs> yeah, then we wouldn't miss him so much, right? We hit him a lot more often. Ah. The new Shaft will be in the cinema in a week or so? I didn't know there was a new Shaft movie. You haven't been seeing the trailers for Doesn't sound like they're advertising very heavily. At least not in front of superhero movies. No, it's uh, been mostly in the movies for trailers. Like, preview for everything lately. They're doing the whole Son of Shaft stick. Oh, well, that's nice. Connecting it to the original movies seems to work better for modern audiences. You saw how freaked out people got about the new Ghostbusters being a reboot instead of a sequel. Yeah, they were just crazy because their female staff is like, cares. That too. But like, if it had been all females terrible. and yet a sequel to the old movies, I think it would have gone over a lot better. Yeah. But uh, it was terrible for very, a many, many other reasons that had nothing to do with the cast. You know, I like it okay, but I do admit like the script had certainly some big problems. I never even saw it. Oh. It's funny, but if you watch it, watch the extended version, because the plot is more coherent than in the theatrical version. Hmm. The theatrical version has this setup for like a big dance scene, and then the dance scene never happens. You see like a little bit of it in the end credits and that's it. It's like, why did the dance scene ever happen, you know? Oh, weird. Yeah, it's like the Chekhov's gun thing. You don't show a... Like when you set something up, people wait for it, and if you don't show it to them, then it's disappointing. Yeah. Ah. Oh, they're making another Ghostbusters? Yeah, they are actually making a Ghostbusters 3, like a movie that will connect to the old movies. And Bill Murray's and not in it? He's actually supposedly going to be in it a little bit, which is crazy. Because oh. he was so difficult about being in all the other Ghostbusters 3 attempts. Yeah, he sounds like a pretty difficult dude. He really does. Like, he's brilliant, but he's not exactly agreeable. Yeah, yeah weird that those, like... Saturday Night Live alums that made it big from the origin of the show seem to be very difficult to deal with. <laughs> yeah, Chevy Chase too, right? Yeah, and I've heard that Eddie Murphy is not easy to deal with. Yeah, definitely. He got, like, once he made it big, he got super, like, crazy and stuck up. Basically yeah. surrounded by Yes Men, I believe. Dan Aykroyd is a little crazy, but otherwise seems nice. Ah, look at this Yeah. Movie. Yeah, it's uh, weird that they're like, manipulating the screen. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> you may be able to turn off the whole modifier thing, but remember it talked about the modifiers when we started the game, before it even did the intro. Ah. But Smack you know, they're also uh, doing a uh, Ghostbusters game remake as well. Yeah, I saw that. Oh yeah, is that coming out on everything? Because I never actually I played the original. Yeah, I didn't either. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on everything. It's next year, I think. Did they They're say if it'll have the multiplayer? They didn't say. Uh, no. Or did they say no? No, they didn't say. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, they're also remaking the first Nino Kuni for PlayStation 4. Yeah. That and I will be very happy. And the rumor is yeah. that it may come to Xbox, but like some people are saying it won't, so... I'm oh, you that. Xbox guys. It's not coming. It should. If it does, I'll buy it. Didn't this, did the sequel come to Xbox? Nope. Well, no, but I mean, this is their chance to put it on that. Oh, you, know. you Xbox guys. <laughs> Be happy you got Kingdom Hearts 3 and deal with it. Well, we need more RPGs than just that. Well, then you need to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a catch-22. They're not making because they think people don't want it, and people don't go looking for it because they don't think it's there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Xbox. Like, mostly Xbox. The uh, RPGs on Xbox are either old games or just bad games. Nino Kuni right. won, Simeus. There's, you know, in total, there's a decent number of JRPGs, but we certainly do miss out on a lot of big ones like yeah. Dragon Quest. 
Icky just wants yeah, it to go on PC yeah. so he can be like, oh, one less reason to own a PlayStation. Now there's only 894 reasons <laughs> instead of 895. Yeah, you know, for Icky's tastes, he would be better served having a PlayStation, but yeah, that's that's fine. I need Xbox friends to play with, so I'm not going to complain too much. I thought they did release uh, Nino Kuni 1 on PC. It just was a bad port or something. Um, part 2? Didn't part 2 come out on PC and not part 1? I don't know. I don't part know. 2 definitely on PC. Is coming I own to Switch. It. That's weird. Yeah, so that's what it was. Part 1 didn't come to PC. Alright, guys, yeah, I'm going to head out. Game is nice to have my PS3 okay, out, so. have fun, Tyler. Have, yeah, have fun of you, drinking bro. your coffee. See you guys. Mm, delicious yeah. coffee. Oh, this is a pain. Yes. Really boring. No way. I watched Brian play it and it looked quite cool. Remember Brian? Back before he, uh, you know, threw the knife <laughs> into a friend's back. Ow, oh, it's happening. It's cray cray. Coffee everywhere. Oh, dude, that's the classic uh, JRPGs. They are slow. Oh, no, it's all glitchy looking. Yeah, I mean, that's JRPGs for you. And the graphics are, like, gorgeous. Aliens? I think we PO'd our evil robot selves. Oh, they're evil robot uses? Like, as in Bill and Ted? Because, you know, Bill and Ted 3 is totally coming out. Yeah, I thought that got put on permanent hiatus. For a long time it was, but they're actually... They're either just about to start shooting it or they already did, I can't remember. But it's definitely really happening. Uh, probably because of... Uh... How big uh, John Wick's been? Yeah, Keanu Reeves is commanding a lot of attention lately. Yeah, and they cast Bill and Ted's daughters, and the the girls they cast look a lot like him. Like they're it's good casting. Uh, we'll well, see if it holds up. I look forward to it. You know, the original writers are going to write it. That's always a plus. Not that they always hit a home run that way, but still, it'll be fun for sure. And I feel for people who haven't seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, because it's so good. Some people like Bovis Journey better, but the first movie is way better in my opinion. Ah, uh, definitely. Part 2 has some really memorable jokes, but, uh, but the actual story like is a lot smoother and easier. For sure. Ah! Uh, my favorite comedy to date still remains uh, History of the World Part 1. And I do need to see that, that part two before I die. <laughs> Wouldn't that be My nice? Is... to watch Jews in Space. <laughs> Does Mel Brooks actually make movies anymore? Nah, he hasn't made a movie in forever. Unfortunately. You think, like, Netflix or somebody should give him a movie deal, you know? Like, just make one for that instead of theatrical. You don't think it'll make enough theatrical money. You're welcome, guys. Way to go! I hope you all enjoy this game. I'm having a pretty decently good time with it, and it is going to be a good achievement game. Everyone remember to wish Thyrenia a happy birthday when you see her, because today is her birthday. She's out celebrating, I believe, so she can't be with us, but she's still in our hearts. And I have a tweet about it. You can retweet the tweet if you want to be cool. Oh, come on, don't be out of continues. All right. Darn hippie aliens. What I like about hippies is their free love philosophy. What I don't like about them is the drugs and not working and not bathing and stuff. Not bathing I enough. I would have thought you were going to say their free STD philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I mean, back then, like, condom use wasn't that common, you know, but nowadays, like, an equivalent hippie would hopefully be smart enough to use protection. They're hippies. He, he's smart enough is not really subject matter. They know. Even for the ones <laughs> that are actually are smart. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Okay, I'm going to put A on Turbo 2. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Darksider is saying that the rumor is uh, Coffee Crisis 2, the bad guy, is, will be not much wrong. <laughs> Why the heck not? I'm sure she's surprised that he's not the villain in every comedy right now. <laughs> uh, maybe they're just afraid of, like, 
burning bridges or something. Have, Have we updated? Bridges. Everybody's bad making that joke. Let's figure out where we are. This is weird. Now I'm on Mars or something. I don't know, Icky. Why do you mention that? I read about a big Windows update and then I checked for it and it wasn't available for me. Yeah, I'm way past that version. Oh. The whole finite continues thing is not a great idea. They should just let you keep playing. It's like. It just suits the style of game better. It's such a chaotic game. Ow. Hey, another achievement. What's that for? I am Alien Chow. Lost 25 lives. Yay! What an achievement! Did you uh, love those, uh, you, you messed up achievements? <laughs> yeah. Things you should try to avoid getting, but you kind of want them anyway. Oh, I got a red sword. Icky said it just became available yesterday. Well, I'll have to remember to update. Ooh, look at this weird filter. Yesterday? Oh, yeah, you guys are regular release. I'm surprised that that's already hit regular release. Uh, that came out last month in preview. Oh. God, these bad guys. With two players, you could handle the crowd so much better. If you have somebody else to play with, I bet this game is like twice as good, you know? Or at least 50% is better. <laughs> um, most of these type of beat'em ups are always better when you have someone to play with you. That's true, they Especially usually are like anyway. Yeah. But the, I mean like the chaotic nature of it, it's just like, it'd be easier to control those crowds. So much easier. No, I was saying, it doesn't look like it's one of the games that actually scales. Uh, the enemies based on the uh, player on the screen. Probably not. Dang, Icky's having some driver problems with this version of Windows. That's a little bit scary. Max HP, baby. Another red sword. Robot S's. Ah! I knocked the sword out of my hands. Yeah, like, I really don't have good crowd control moves. Yeah, I don't know what Marshall did with the recent updates, but there's definitely some issues with, uh, video playback. Ah. Uh, it's not just online, it's, uh, media player. It's pretty much any tap that uses video playback. That's not good. Uh oh, just ran out of lives. Okay, let's pay attention to the password here, guys. 4KYMI. Why am I? That's a question I always ask myself. 4KYMI. Maybe I shouldn't do the update either. Maybe we should wait. Yeah, have a good night, uh, Tech. Great seeing you, Tech Guy. Thank you always for your support, dude. We love you. Uh oh, I forgot I had turbo on uh, on A. Can't have that. 4K Y M I. Yeah, no. If if you're using if you're using a computer for anything important, I'd hold off on the update. Yeah, that would really suck, Brownmeister. Brownmeister, what's been going on with your stream lately? Why don't you tell us a little about it? You guys know he streams regularly. I hope everybody is following him. He quite often streams after our stream goes off. Unlike yeah, some yeah. people, he is cool enough not to stream against us, and we appreciate that. <laughs> uh, my only issue with his streams is he always likes to do it right after, right when I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah, like his schedule is much different from ours, being that he's in Australasia. Papua New Guinea or someplace. Oh, interesting. He's trying to finish off some games and start a whole new batch. That'll be fun. I want to get them all on one side of me. Ah. 
Back in the Super Nintendo days, you usually would not fight this many enemies on screen at once. I know, like, sprite-wise, they look like Super NES sprites, American drawn ones. But you also have the crazy effects and stuff. Like this. Fuzzy black and white visuals. So did you see that they announced the rest of the 12 Sega Mega, uh, Sega Genesis mini games? Um, didn't even yeah hear about that. Yeah, they the last it was going to be 10, and then they announced 12 instead, which is pretty cool. Some of them are quite awesome. Some of them are a little you know like hey, why did they pick that one instead of this cooler game? You know, but still, well, I mean, it's 12. Well, Sony just release half the game you don't play. <laughs> yeah, no, the selection is way better than the. PlayStation Mini selection. Although the PlayStation, or is a PlayStation Classic? The PlayStation Classic is down to $30 officially, so it is a good time to pick one of those up, considering that you can mod it very easily with your own games. And then you got a $30 PlayStation 1 box, and that's pretty rad. And those controllers, the PlayStation Classic controllers, they work with PC, so like, you get a couple of USB PC controllers for your 30 bucks, and then you also can play PS1 games with it if you want. Yeah, but I can't deal with a two-foot controller. Um, I don't think the short the cords are that short. Like you're thinking of the it's NES. Not, but it, they're pretty much that short. In practical. Terms. I mean, they're certainly not ten-foot ones, but I think they're a reasonable length. I forget. Like, I mean, I I have they're one, like, but I, I think only five feet. Once. Yeah, you know that's okay. Don't you? I thought you sit on the floor like right in front of your TV when you play. I do, but my TV's still uh, like twelve feet away. Ah. I'd be an idiot for watching a TV as close as big as I have. That close. even my desktop is another like eight feet away from me. <laughs> well, uh, you know, like there's something to be said for proximity to the screen because like a lot of modern games have tiny text because they don't optimize it well for living room viewing. But I yeah, I've never really had a problem with that, honestly. I've run across it a few times here and there, but like I actually do sit relatively close. It's just that I can spot when the text is really tiny. Ah, what's happening? Look at this. This is a really weird filter. Oh my god. Ah. On my coffee table, I have a 27 inch touchscreen, and then my Ooh. HP is down to a 65 inch OLED. I will be replacing that with a 75 inch or 80 inch uh, QLED whenever I get around to it. Nice. My main uh, TV is only 55, but I would like to upgrade eventually. Probably not till next year. Because getting this TV put me in long-term debt, so I don't need to keep on doing that. So yeah, people no, who have missed... a lot sooner, but I had issues with the car, and my son decided to go buy a car, and I had to pay him the... back the money he borrowed. Oh yeah, I remember you mentioning that. So you didn't want him to have too much debt? Uh, yeah, basically. Plus, he borrowed it from family members, and uh, I'm a huge believer in the old adage, never borrow or lend or be. You know, I uh, I loaned an ex-girlfriend 100 bucks a month or six weeks ago, and yeah, I don't know if she's ever going to pay me back. But, you know... It's like, I don't mind that I helped her, but what I don't like is she was only being nice to me while she wanted that money, and now she barely talks to me. Yeah. So, she really only talks to me when she wants something, and I, I shouldn't have even given her a chance. Uh, considering I'm the guy who spent his entire life being the guy that people call when things go wrong, trust me, I'm very familiar with that uh, behavior. <laughs> yeah, could be better. But um, people who miss the weekend streams, I mean the weekday streams, by the way everyone, I'm streaming a Neo Geo game like every weekday of the month just about, so I would love if you guys would actually tune in and support those please, more of you. But anyway, what was I going to say? So I've talked about a little bit during the midweek streams, but right now I'm actually separated from my wife, I don't know if everyone knew I was married or not, most of you should know. But unfortunately we've been apart for two weeks now and I'm not loving it. Hey, I do love follows. Thank you for that. What's the name of the new follower? Is it just a bunch of random letters? Uh, I didn't even notice the follower show up. I was reading uh, Brown Master's thing, but I didn't even see it. 
Ah, dang it. Well, thank you for the follow, whoever you are. Hopefully you're going to be a real viewer. Get the power up. Sure, why not? Yeah, I mean, $100... The thing is, I've actually had a lot of money troubles lately. Like, I could not really afford to loan it to her, so in a way, I shouldn't have done it. I'm in the middle of King of Fighters 94 for Xbox One. That was our pre-stream tonight. I got all but two achievements, and I I want to go back after the stream on my own and try to finish them before bed. Is this the boss of the game? Because if it is, that would be nice. You'd think they'd use a little different asset, though. That's true. He's not he's not big. You know, like why not have some bigger sprites in addition to throwing a ton of sprites on screen at once. Wow, yeah, Link has a lot of gamer score. That's impressive. I'm not going to be able to catch up to that, I'm afraid. But I am enjoying going after more achievements lately. That's a lot of fun for me. That's ridiculous. 800k? Yeah, I've been that's no, crazy. on Xbox since the console first came to existence. And I seriously don't have anyone near that. Which I've but been you playing like I used to. You don't play for achievements, right? That's I mean, oh, that God, does no. make a big difference. Nah, I stopped that when I finished high school. <laughs> that was a lifetime ago. Eat him! Yeah, come on, achievement. Give me an achievement, dang it. Icky oh, yeah. Didn't know that 800k is a lot. Microsoft made a sneak when somebody hit a million. Yeah, I mean, Icky, I'm at like 250-something thousand, so yes, 800k is a lot. You know, I like, I try, and that's all I've got. Yeah, I love Metal Slug 2, Link. I, In fact, I downloaded Metal Slug X for 360 on my Xbox One the other day, and I got all but one achievement in that. I'm not going to go after the final one, because it would be too time-consuming. All right, what do we got now? Did you take care of those ridiculous baristas yet? Oh, way to go, darker player. He got the delist. She got the delisted Kung Fu Panda game, which is supposedly easy achievements too, although a little bit grindy maybe. Actually, I have the game. I never even played it. Oh, that's funny. No, All right, dude, there's still most more. Most of my levels. library is games I've never played. Ah. Hey, here's a big boss like we wanted. Look at that thing. Let's see if we can throw enemies into it. I don't I'm just on the Xbox app over 400 games I've never played. That's a lot. I probably yeah, have that's not even number talking about PC library. <laughs> yeah, I bet you have a lot more PC games than me since you're in that humble club, aren't you? Like my Steam, my uh, Steam library is huge. And then I have a library for every class. Nice. Actually, uh, lately my son's been taking my Steam codes. Uh. Darn him. Well, ever since I rebuilt his computer, that's basically where he spends most of his time. Ah. Well, we're not too close to running out just yet. Fanatical has really good bundles every now and then, so I'll just buy like a one or two dollar bundle sometimes. Am I out of credits? Yeah. Okay, OZ4RE. That's a lot, Darker Player. See, I've got to catch up to Darker. <laughs> oh, look at how many Link has. That's incredible. OZ4RE. What else have you been up to besides playing games, Link? Icky only has 80,000? Jeez, Icky. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's close to where I am. How many do you have, do you know? Not offhand, but I can check it easy enough. Yes, Inquiring Minds want to know. Everybody, share your gamer score. So am I just supposed to finish the regular enemies and avoid the big mean boss thing? I'm guessing so. Should you try hitting it? Just to see what would happen. Well, the screen shakes when you hit it, but I don't know if it does anything. Like, it doesn't show... Yeah, I'll just keep hitting it then. 
Uh, actually, no, I have less than that. I have 60, uh, 5,109. Uh, I've well, got really lax on my gamer score. Can't bag on Icky then. I wasn't bagging on it, I'm just saying it was out in the same neighborhood. Uh, I believe your exact words were, boy, Icky, you suck. That was cold, Thomas. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, reading between those lines again. <laughs> Oddly but enough, he plays a lot on Steam, I work too. With that, uh, I was saying, most, oddly enough, most people I work with think that's how to interpret everything I say. <laughs> Negatively? Like, you did a good job! What do you mean I'm awful and I suck? Like, <laughs> that's, yes, yes, exactly. I try to be really positive. You know, like, I mean, uh, I have a lot of depression problems, but I try to be positive in my interactions with other people, you know, like, praising a lot and stuff like that. Because I know there's just so many things that make us sad, like, people don't need me making them sad, too. <laughs> I just had to sit down with my uh, boss and uh, regional manager, uh, telling me that uh, when I send my reports in, I need to find a way to be positive about people who are just doing their job. <laughs> like, so, they showed up for work, and they usually get paid for it, and they're adults. So I should say, good job for doing your job. I like, think people well, do yeah. kind of need that. Like, people don't only want to hear negative feedback. Like, a lot of jobs, your manager will only give you negative feedback. And, like, that has a really, um, what is the word? Like, a discouraging effect? Oh, yeah. Demoralizing, my specific word. role, though, is I'm not anyone's manager. I gave up that job. My specific role is to find things wrong and tell them how to make it better. Yay, so the I'm, bad guy I'm went down. Can, I'm not supposed to be going and saying, you did everything right. I'm supposed to be going... This is what you can do better, and literally every time. And they're like, "Well, you can't do that." I'm like, "That's literally my job description." I think I just beat the game, guys. Yep. That's true. Icky refuses to go after achievements. I thought Link said that. I was like, "Link, there's no way you got 800,000 without playing for achievements." But no, it was Icky. Contest coming up. Win your own copy of this $10 game. It's fun. But even pay attention to achievements on Android. You know, I like. I mean, I'm like I'm happier having an achievement system than not having one. But I don't think people care very much for the most part, unless they don't own a console. Maybe then. Speaking of which, though, I've been playing a game on my phone that I think a lot of you guys would really like. It's a free-to-play game on Android, and there's no in-app purchases. It's like only banners, and that's it. It's called Pixel Puzzle, and it comes from Konami. So Konami, you ever play the old DS game Picross from Nintendo? Well, Pixel uh, Puzzle... Oh, sorry, yeah. Ahead. Tell me, did you play it? No, I was going to say, uh, no, I, I do remember it, though. Well, Picross is a particular kind of puzzle called nonograms. Like, that's a real word for them. And so it's like a generic puzzle type. Sort of like Sudoku, but different, because you make pictures with it. You know, things can only be filled in or not filled in, basically. X'd out or uh, filled in with a box. And they make cool pictures. So, anyway, Konami has one, and like all the puzzles are related to their games, which include Bomberman, Gradius, Tokimeki Memorial, all kind of Castlevania. No Metal Gear Solid, surprisingly, but Castlevania's in there. Anyway, like, it plays actual classic Konami music while you do these puzzles, and it's just great. Like, I really love it. it it's totally free. Like, if I could pay a dollar to turn off the banner ads, I would, but, like, they're not a big deal either. Yeah, so, that's surprising coming from Konami. I know, Konami doesn't exactly behave benevolently very often. So, uh, if you like puzzle games, like actual puzzles, such as Sudoku, then I highly recommend you get it. It's called Pixel Puzzle. <laughs> Alex has Tinder not a uh, game. <laughs> what? Why does he mention that? Is that a puzzle? Well, you said a game on your phone. Oh, sure. It's the only thing there is. I guess technically that's something I could use right now if I wanted, but no thank you. I could never get into dating or any of that other stuff on the phone or computer. I never understood how people could do that. Well, some people just don't have a good way to meet people in their life, you know? It's like literally the only way they can meet somebody without changing their personality greatly. 
true, but that's where you got bars, clubs, heck, the, museums, literally anywhere where there's people. Well, like, I do understand going to museums because museums are rad, but, like, I, for one, have a really hard time striking up conversations with random people. At a bar, maybe I could do it if there weren't, like, in the... But, I mean, the stars would have to really align because I'm not much of a bar guy either. Yeah, no, I used to, uh, in, in my uh, younger days, a couple decades ago, I used to have a group of friends that would always go out to bars. Uh, yeah, if you I had a group to, to go with. Lot, lot oh, yeah? <laughs> that doesn't yeah, sound so bad. Sure. Well, if you don't know what a ballroom philosopher, uh, philosopher is, it's basically a drunk idiot who's uh, spouting nonsensical, trying to act like he knows what the heck he's talking about. <laughs> hey, at least you had friends to go with. Like, that makes it a lot easier. Just going to a bar on my own, again, I can do it if it's the right kind of bar, like if the environment is right. But yeah, no, it's, it's going to your bar funny. by yourself is just sad. It's definitely something you have to go out with a few couple friends. Yeah, some, you know, like, for one thing, just talking to random women, like, how do you know if they want you to talk to them or not? But at a bar, actually, women who go by themselves to a bar do want to be talked to. So, there is that. But they probably don't want to talk to me, to be honest. Like, that's not where nerdy girls don't go to bars on their own very much. And that's what I really need, is a nice nerdy girl. I'd be surprised these days. One thing I've uh, learned from my job is uh, don't judge a book by its cover. Nobody's what they appear to be. <laughs> well, just geeks in general, like, you know, like us, like, tend to thrive. I mean, we tend to be more introverted. Like, we can be friendly and stuff, but we're not usually the most outgoing people there are. True. Lord knows I used to be that way, but uh, having to deal with people constantly kind of changed me. I'm oh. I'm one of those people that I, I prefer being alone, but I have no problem being in a group. That's not so bad. I, you know, like, I need a lot of alone time, but I do get real lonely. Like, I need some time with friends. And the stream helps with that some, but I also need more, like, you know, in-person friends. Uh, I'm a firm believer uh, in uh, a saying I came up with. There's a big, there's a difference between uh, being alone and being lonely. Lonely is something you feel when, when in a crowded room. Alone is what you feel when you're anywhere else. <laughs> That's not a bad saying. Yep. That much describes me. Uh, I get subconscious when I'm around too many people. Oh. I just, like, I need to know somebody I can go up and talk to, you know? Like, if I, as long as I have some idea of what to do in this situation, I'm fine. But there's times when I'll be, like, in a big group setting and I don't know, like, who to even go talk to, and that can be frustrating. Understandable. That's what you do what I do. Find a drink, find a corner, and just watch. Sooner or later, you'll find someone doing something stupid, and that'll be the person that entertains you. That's not a bad idea. And believe it or not, works more often than not. Because almost always the person that's doing the stupid thing is the one that's actually worth talking to. <laughs> the Xbox press conference, isn't that tomorrow? Yep. Man, I used to go to those. I used to physically go to them and they were awesome. They never gave us anything free at the ones I went to. There was one year they gave everybody a 360 or something. Did you get to go to the Pancho one? No, nothing. <laughs> I mean, like... We would get a necklace and that was it, you know, like a Xbox pendant or a lapel pin, nothing else. Yeah. No, I, I, back in the day when they changed the tax rules, I, I really hated it because I used to go to uh, different training and events with different companies all the time, and I would walk out with thousands of dollars worth of software and hardware. Oh, neat. Like stuff I didn't even know what it was. It was just like, hey, you might have a reason to discuss this with a client. Here. Like, okay. <laughs> Well, early on when I first joined Windows Central and I was going to things and we were more phone oriented, I did go to Casual Connect a couple of times. And Casual Connect, like, you could get a ton of free stuff, like free shirts and jackets and things from all these random big mobile developers. Yeah, that actually sounds like a dating thing. <laughs> it does. Join us at Casual Connect. Meet the woman of your dreams. Or man. It's, it's a casual games conference, you know, it's like 
today what you consider free to play stuff, I guess. But they weren't all free to play, like a lot of them were paid games back then. That was what, I don't know, eight years ago? Seven, eight years ago? Had a lot of fun at those things. Seattle Dark and San Francisco. <laughs> yeah? Darker's talking about somebody wanting uh, PlayStation to be the only console on the market. It's like, does that person not realize how economy works? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing that would be more uh, terrible than a single game company controlling the market. Yeah, a lot of, I mean, there are a lot of consumers who want that. Like, a lot of consumers want Microsoft to go out of business and stuff, which is stupid of them. Like, yeah, yeah we need, we need that competition. It keeps them innovating. Oh, great, I died well, in the middle it, of the It level. makes them have to be competitive. It's not even about the innovation. It's just having to have a reason to be competitive. So Look at any other sector. For Obama, which... <laughs> I figured out what that one is referenced to. Yeah, I, I completely agree, Aki. Like, they'll do anti-consumer things if there is no one else to do better things. Like, we wouldn't have cross-platform play if it was up to Sony, right? But because Nintendo and Microsoft are rubbing it in their faces so much, they keep having to approve it for different games, like how Destiny now has cross-saves, which is cool. Destiny 2 is going to have cross-saves, that is. Guys, we've been playing Coffee Crisis for Mega Cat Studios. It's available on Xbox One and Steam. It is a $10 game. I actually quite like it. Like, the, the finite continues mechanic doesn't serve the game well. I would like it better if you didn't have that, considering you can use passwords to continue anyway. Um, but it's two-player local. It's got a nice sense of humor, you know, decent music and pixel art. <laughs> Bob Jones wants me to eat some menudo. I don't know about all that. Yes, I hope you enjoy this game. Thomas, thank you for co-hosting. All fun, buddy. Yay, and thanks to Tyler who had to leave us early. Poor Tyler died in the middle of the stream. Rest his soul. Icky, thank you for running the contest as always. You are the best. That's what I like to hear, Jono. But anyway, it's been great hanging out with you all. I love you. And please remember, don't hate. I appreciate it. Pizza Zanes. I love those kids. They're great. Don't forget to tell Tyrone a happy birthday, everybody. Try to get some rest. Thanks, Hi, Alejandro. Sorry I didn't say bye to you. BX Latino, Alejandro. We'll miss you guys. Join us for more.